Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. I still have some wheat rolls. Um, those of you who have been following me for a while, you know I got these uh, in Vermont. Those of you who are new, <clears throat> I ended up picking up 10 rolls of wheat cents at an antique store uh, in Vermont. We tend to go there yearly, and there's usually one seller um, or stand. There's no really no people there. There's just people at the front desk that has wheat cents. And the price is very reasonable. From what I understand, a lot of people get them for like nine to ten dollars a roll. I can pick these up for three fifty. So we're gonna go through these. We'll look at the dates and see if we can find any varieties under the scope. And I'll do that live. So I'll set the camera up facing the scope like this, and I'll pull out some or all these wheat scents, and we're gonna go through them for the dates. And varieties, as I just mentioned. And then I'll see at the end if I have anything that can fill a spot in the album. Let's get it going. I'll be right back. All right, first let's get a quick glance of what's in here. I'll just do this as quick as possible. And then, uh, like I said, we'll hunt them under the scope. It might be a long video. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Just pull out a few. You can see that they're all wheats. What is that one? 1939. I don't know. Let's take another random. What is this one? Huh, maybe it was the same one. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That's probably the same one. 1939, 39, 1951. All right, so let me aim this uh, up towards the computer, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. 1939 with some funk. I don't see anything crazy there. No double die. No die. Oh, what's that? A little, maybe a lamination or a die crack right there. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, 39. What's next? 1955. I'm not seeing any doubling. I don't see the poor man's double die. Not seeing anything there. No double die. No cuds. Nothing going on there. Nothing there. Oh, okay. 39, 55. <clears throat> Next. 45. Huh. Now that. That looks weird. That looks like it's a dropped eye almost. That's strange. I'm definitely going to hold that one aside. That's weird. It's completely different color. The E looks flat. And then this looks raised. Like, I don't know. We'll hold this one aside. Let's check out the rest of it. <clears throat> okay. All right, nope. I'll put that one aside, though. Next. 1952. Nothing there. Nope. Okay. Next. 1942. I think this is just damaged, but that nine looks a little odd. Don't see anything there. This could be a die crack, a B I E, I mean a L I B I I B, sorry. Um 
not see anything really on that one. Nothing on the reverse as of yet. Okay, what did I say that one was a 42. <clears throat> Next. 1938. I don't think we've gotten a mint mark yet, have we? I don't think so. No die cracks. No cuds. Not really seeing doubling. It's hard to see if these um, have any kind of doubling on them just because of <clears throat> how old they are. Let's see, 1951, out of Philly, nothing going on there, I don't think yet I've come across anything that could be an album filler or upgrader yet. Not seeing anything there, was it a 50s, 51 next. 37 going in the right direction in terms of age nothing there nope. <clears throat> it'd be really cool to find a cud though or like a dropped letter something like that Okay, 30s there next, 1940, nothing out of the ordinary, you get like a little crack right in here, this could be damage, that could be a little crack, like a lamination burst. Now this could be doubled. You see like the thickness on the U. But again, they're so worn. You need something drastic to see. Like nothing there. <clears throat> 1939. <clears throat> Not seeing anything out of the ordinary. There we go. Denver Mint 56D. <clears throat> that mint mark looks a little high, which is probably normal. I just, just an observation. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay, this one looks older, there we go, 1926, I think that's our first 20s find, <clears throat> that could be somewhat doubled but it's just too much. Too much damage to tell. All right, first 20 is fine on the board. Next, 44, very common. Some damage. So you can tell this is damage and not a strike through. The metal is pushed outward. Um, if it was just an inlaid, that could be a strike through, but that is not, that's just damage. No double die, more damage, more damage. <clears throat> I 
Probably damage. It looks weird though. I'm gonna say damage. Okay. Next. There we go. Our second mint mark. Looks normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nope. <clears throat> 36. So this one is known for doubling. Which I don't think I see. The Y looks different. So it's a lot thinner here and thicker here. U looks thicker. I'm going to say it's probably not, but I'll hold it aside just to, I can double check it on Wexler's or Variety Vista. I'm not sure which one, maybe both. Okay, well, I'll hold it aside though for a further examination. Oh, another 36. 39s and 36s were common. For this particular role, it seems. No, I'm not seeing anything there. <clears throat> that Y looks different, though. Okay. Nothing here. Nope. And nope. Next. 51. No cuds. There's also some cool clashing on Wheat Sense. Not, I found some minor ones. I've never found a really cool one though, like with the wheat <coughs> wheat ears showing on the other side, um, which really wouldn't happen. I guess it could, because you can see the scent sometimes on the obverse. Guess it all just depends on how hard. The dies hit each other. Next. 34. There we go. Oh. Nope. If I'm going too fast, uh, let me know down in the comments. I do have more rolls of these, so I will do another hunt at some point when I remember. <clears throat> so if you think that I should slow down while I'm doing these, let me know. I'm just doing this quicker because I know the video will be long. 50 coins is a lot to do on a video. So I'm trying to go through pretty quick. I mean, I have an idea of what I'm looking for, so it goes pretty fast. There we go. Very worn San Francisco mint. That one looks really thin. <clears throat> Not seeing anything out of the ordinary. No. Nope. Next, 37. No. Thirties, go up top. Next. 27. We have a 27. This is really worn. Oof. That's a... Uh, that would not be an upgrader. That's almost to the point of like a grease strike. But I think that's just really worn. Next. <clears throat> 26. 
I don't think so. I don't think I'm seeing anything there. No. Nope. The 20s. 30s, 20s up here. Next. 37. Not seeing anything. So right in here, no, I don't think so. It could be. So right from here up and then here, right there. You can see it. That could be a grease strike. <clears throat> um, so it looks like the A and the M are kind of missing in here. So that could be a lamination issue. It's weird. We'll hold that one aside. That could definitely be an error. If I zoom out a little, let me try to zoom out so you can see that a little bit better. So you can see it right in here. So right here, it comes up and down. This would be part of the M right in here, but A is completely gone. All right, I'll hold that aside. Next, <clears throat> 39. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, 30s, up there again, 57 Denver, not seeing anything with that mint mark, it could be a little bit of a crack right there, oh. Not seeing anything in terms of doubling or that's damage in the O. All right, next. <clears throat> 1930. I'll take it. Nothing out of the ordinary. No. No. Oh, wait, that U looks funky. That's damaged. Okay. 30. Next. 56. Very common. No. I don't see anything there. Next. 27. Dropped letter would be cool. I don't I've never found a dropped letter. <clears throat> Fifty-three. Decent condition teens would be nice. Yeah, fifty-three. Okay. What's this one? 28. Is it just worn? 28 on top. 37. Nope. Mm, 
negative. Okay. 42. Looks like damage. Okay. Not a lot of 40s. We got more 30s than 40s. 57. Nothing there. I was watching uh, Let's Look Brad's channel tonight. He did a two box penny hunt. He pulled about uh, 10 Wheaties per box, but got a lot of, well, I should say, a decent amount of Denver minted and San Francisco mints, which I'd hardly ever find. I mean, I, some Denver's, very rarely San Francisco. So there's a much better chance of. RPMs <clears throat> than I do. I like I said, I don't really come across them all that much, but there is a chance of finding a DDO or a DDR in the Phillies, but not yet. Thirty, thirty-nine. Ooh, what's that? It's like glue all over it. That one's rough. That one feels rough. Okay. 1940. That's kind of like a woody grain to it. Kind of going this way, you can see. <clears throat> Not a, I say that was a 40. Next. Coming down. There we go. 1950S. That mint mark looks normal. Not see anything out of the ordinary there. Nothing there. Nothing there. That looks normal. Imagine finding a 58 double die. Ooh. We do have a die crack right in here. Kind of comes out this way. Right there. That's not significant enough. I'm not going to hold that aside unless there's something on the reverse. And I'm not seeing anything. Although, could have a clash right in here. I'm seeing some reflection right in here. That could be Lincoln's head. Let me check it again on the obverse to see if we can see the C and the T behind his neck. So you'd have a little bit of clashing in here and clashing over here, which I'm not really seeing. There's a little bit like right here and up in here, possibly, but I'm not seeing anything that really stands out. Oh, so no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to hold this one aside. That'll just go in my <clears throat> wheat bin or jar, wheat jar, another 1936. And I'm not seeing any doubling. This one's really worn. No other issues there. Another 30s. That's this. Another 1930. Negative. <clears throat> no teens on this one. You get a couple of 20s. 
should say no teens yet. We have like, uh, I don't know, two, four, six, eight more coins after this one here. I don't see anything. 37. We've got a few of these already. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing there. No. Okay, that's this one. Another 39. I don't see anything. No. What's this one? This one looks older. 26. Still no teens. All right. Nope. <clears throat> Four more after this, another 1939. No errors, no variety that I can see. Like I said, they're very worn. So if there is something, I'm not keen on what I'm looking for. This reverse is actually pretty decent for a 39. Next, another 36. Hopeful to find a double die, but hasn't happened yet. Now it's actually in fairly decent shape too. Okay, two more after this. 56 Denver, not seeing anything, no, no, negative, 55, Denver, even Mark looks fine. Liberty looks normal. The word God looks a little lower than everything else, but I'm sure that's normal. Nope. Last one. 1936. See, that looks thick. I just don't, it's so worn. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that against um, Wexler's Variety Vista. See if there's anything that kind of resembles that. The nine, the three, and the six look thicker. And if it was a double die, it's just kind of worn. All right, let me hold that one aside. Let me check out these four coins. See if I have anything extra going on here. And I'll bring you right back if I do. So the footage of me showing my upgrades, some, something happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but I'll just show you the first few pages of Wheats. in the album here we are missing a lot so let's see we have there kind of wiggle it up and down a little so you can see what we're missing we're missing a lot okay we did get a few upgrades I just can't remember what they were at this point. So I lost that footage. But this is what the album looks like currently.
as we get into the 40s and 50s, it's a little bit easier to fill. And they get redder as we go forward here. But still missing some dates. It would have been cool to fill that. If I had an, a red one, oh man, that would have been awesome. If we found a bunch. That didn't happen. So here's our album. Got a ways to go, but it's coming along. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I still have some wheat rolls to go through. I think three left. So we'll get to those when I get to those, and we'll plug any spots in the album if I can find any. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe and notification bell. See you on the next one.